Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Rahawah Kagwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that are still continually feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and much love and our Shalom to the Hofi Lake. And so I continually labor in this work in all faith, truth, and sincerity, and giving all diligence. Shalom. Now, our topic of this video is going to be entitled um, Babylon's Failing Dollar System. Okay, because now, <clears throat> in recent news, in which this has been this has been an ongoing thing concerning uh, the dollar or the USD, the greenbacks. The dollar system is, uh, or should I say, the the dollar itself is losing its value, man. As as the days go on, um, nations are starting to back away from the dollar. All right, and you had started with uh, China, all right, along with Russia, and then you, um, a few years back, you had uh, the formation of uh, BRICS, which is um, set up to move away from uh, the currency of the dollar and to establish um, their own form of currency or, or to uh, have their currency backed by uh, actual substance other than the dollar because the dollar is not backed by anything, man. All right? So the other nations know that and that's why their intents are to, uh, to leave the dollar system and that in turn uh, devalues the dollar. Okay, because once again, you know, it's not really backed by anything, man. All right, plus uh, you have the uh, dollars continually being printed. And it's been like that ever since uh, the recession. All right, dollars have been generated, you know, printed out of thin air without really being backed by anything, man. So really, it was already set up to fall anyway. Okay. And this is all through the spirit of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahashai, who these people inwardly call it God and Jesus. All right. It's prophesied that this this uh this currency was gonna fail. All right, concerning this place, uh Babylon, which is America. All right. Because uh you had in recent news right now, um RT reported on it. Uh, as far as I know, RT uh Reuters reported on it that uh Iran, which is in the headlines, Iran dumps dollar for euro in foreign trade transactions. All right, so you know it's just it's another blow, and the dollars have been taking continuous blows, man, from the different uh, moves that the other nations have been making concerning um, moving away from the dollar. So you're going to start seeing prices uh, jump to a, a, a new high. All right, the same items that you would get. With your, um, with the dollar, is gonna go up in prices. All right. Also, too, with the continuous uh, printing of uh, dollar bills, the greenbacks, that causes inflation. You know, and, and your your the 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 current king of Babylon, which is uh, Donald Trump even made a statement on it man he said that even the uh the economy the america's economy is is in a infl is in a, um, a bubble all right and it's ready to pop man at any moment so when it pops you're going to start seeing prices skyrocket man okay So, like the headlines say, Iran dumps dollar for euro in foreign trade transactions. So, it's another continuous blow to the, uh, the U.S. dollar. Now, I want to go ahead and jump into the scriptures, right? Because in the end of all this, you know, it'll have to be another alternative to the dollar once it fails, man. Because when it gets to a point where everything that I just stated concerning um, the bubble that this economy is in right now and when it's, once it pops and then the price is skyrocket all right when you have different things going at the same time concerning the dollar and not only the dollar but also 
uh, the, the resources that the people can get their hands on, you know, the, the tangible resources that the people um, grasp, right, or purchase, is going to be rise, man. That's going to lead to um, sedition among men, which is spoken about in Second Ezra, the um, 15th chapter. Okay. Which uh, goes along with uh, the the elites, what they have set up, which is um, in, the, in the term of uh, Hegelian dialectics, which is pressure from above and pressure from beneath. All right, because the the elites are the ones that want to run the world, man. The elites is uh, Esau, the higher ups of Esau, which is the so-called white man, which are the banking families, starting with the Rothschilds. Then you have the Rockefellers, you have the Oppenheimers, and so on and so forth. Okay. So the book of James, the the fifth chapter in the first verse, it said, "Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you." Your riches are corrupted, all right? And their riches are corrupted, man. All right, everything that they got was uh, de by deceit, okay? Deceit and trickery. So this money, this dollar system, you know, which is really, this is just play money, all right? It's, you might as well call it monopoly money. Like, you play on a monopoly board game. That's what it is, man. It's fiat currency. All right, look that word up, fiat. It says uh, your riches are corrupted uh, and your garments are moth eaten. Okay, your gold and silver is cankered, and the rest of them shall be a witness against you, and it is bear witness against against this devil. All right. So all the riches that they have in the world, the rest of them, which that rust represents corruption. In which rust, you can't you can't do anything to fix rust, man. Once you have rust, you know that's is, <laughs> you know that, that's it. You know there's no curing rust. All right, it's only going to get worse and worse. And that's what's going on with the dollar, man. Is is the value of the dollar is getting worse and worse? All right, is the the value is is it, actually the dollar system is being devalued right now, as we speak. All right, continuously as 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 the time ticks. Okay. That says, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire, ye have heaped treasures together for the last days. Okay. So we are in the last days, and they have heaped treasures unto themselves. Okay. Now I want to grab another priest up. This is the book of Zephaniah, the uh, first chapter in the See, in 18 verse, it says, Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of Yahweh by Hashem Shai's wrath. All right? Because they think that they have their riches, that they're able to manipulate the prophecies, man. By any, any, anything they can get their hands on, you know, they think they can manipulate the prophecies and upset the prophecies to where they have continual rulership. All right. But it says right here, look, that neither their silver or their gold is going to be able to. Uh, it's not going to deliver them in that day, you know, because they got these uh, different bunkers, fallout shelters, places they can go to for uh, refuge or, shel or shelter away from. To come in destruction because these elites and also with the, the super rich of Esau, they know what's going on, man. That's why they, they have their um, fallout shelters and, and things of that nature already set up for when that time comes. All right. Green on says, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. All right. And that's the coming uh, thermonuclear destruction. By the hands of Yahweh Bashim Shai. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. So, in everything that these elites have built up to this point, especially concerning the dollar, all right, they think that, well, just because they make uh, this, this uh, play money, you know, and, and build up this place with the lies and deceit, 
and they did this for years and years on end but the Lord says he's going to make a speedy riddance of it and and that that time that's uh, put on that is an hour all right this so this place America was Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed in one hour all right now I want to go from there I want to get the book of Revelation the uh, 13th chapter because this is everything that's going on right now is leading up to this point in time right now because we seen recent news concerning uh, the conflict in Syria America got involved all right uh, Russia Russia and um, Iran is looking at America sideways so to speak and the tensions are getting higher as far as uh, that conflict in Syria goes because that, that place in that region is is the hot spot for war all right that's why scriptures uh call it the valley of jehoshaphat or the valley of decision okay now this is revelation 13 chapter in the um 18 verse actually it's like a uh, verse uh, 16 it's lucky because all this is leading up to the mark of the beast so like i said before concerning news concerning world war three because we are coming into world war three but it's beautiful because we now we're seeing news concerning the dollar. You know, it's, that's another blow to the dollar, all right? Which is leading up to the mark of the beast, which I'm about to read. It's Revelation 13, chapter and 16, verse. It says, And he calls all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name so but this this uh, new piece of information the circling uh, the news media it's another step closer to the, the dollar crashing and also the implementation of the mark of the beast which is the RFID microchip okay well I should just call it the mi uh, just a microchip in general which is implanted within the body because it, it comes under the um name of RFID it comes under the name of uh, NFC and it also comes under the name of uh, uh, Very you know Very Chip okay so that's pretty much it on that I just want to bring out this piece of news information you know this because this is concerning prophecy and, we, and that let you know that we're even much closer to the rest of the prophecies coming to pass all right and, um, you know, this is a continual warning, man. The videos that we put out concerning the prophecy, like, you know, pieces of news that come out. And, and when we report on it, really, this is like a warning. Okay? It's just like like blowing a trumpet, sounding the alarm, and that's exactly what we're doing. Okay? Because the scriptures uh, commanded us to do that, to sound the alarm. All right, blow the trumpet and warn the people. All right? And not just just everybody just but um our people which uh so-called negro suspends and native americans which uh, makes up the nation of israel all right so with that um those will you members of the hopefully later edified by this video until next time once again i want to give all praise on and glory